CPHS Talk, brought to you by College of Public Health Science Chu Lar Long Corn University. Good health is the best wealth. We need health sciences for good health and well-being. Hi everyone. Welcome to CPHS Talk by College of Public Health Science Chu Lar Long Corn University. I am Pokpe Tong Sasalak. Happy to see you again. Today we come to episode 6 with the title of Chemical and Biomolecular Technology. From previous clip, we give you the overview of public health science program from the College of Public Health Science, Jula Lung University. So today we will give you the detail specific for the branch. So today the branch, we will talk about the chemical and biomolecular technology. If you are interested, please stay with us until the end. So today, similarly with previous clip, I'm not come alone. I will come with the Deputy Dean of College of Public Health Science, Associate Professor Dr. Watasit Siribong. Atan sawadikha. Good evening, everyone. And with Dr. Krayuk Kanvisha again. Sawadikha, Jan. Sawadikha. Hi, good evening, everyone. Yes, happy to see all of you again for episode 6 of College of Public Health Science around Constitution University. And today we have the guest speaker that will come to join to talk with us about chemical and biomolecular technology. Please welcome Dr. Tepanat Pum Paibun, the Deputy Dean of College of Public Health Science, Julan Kwon University. Ajahn, sawadikha. 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 Good evening to everyone. Ka. Yes, we have two Deputy Dean from College of Public Health Science mm -hmm. to come to CPH's talk. Quite a very special episode. If you are interested to join to study with us, please stay tuned. And first of all, I would like to let Dr. Tepana to introduce a little bit about herself. That's what Dr. Tepana has Thank you, Dr. Poké. Um, my name is Tepana Pumpaibun, and my educa educational background oh, is a long time ago. Um, I got a bachelor degree in microbiology and master in industrial microbiology from the Department of uh, Microbiology, Faculty of Science, Dulalungkorn University. And after that, I start um, working at the Malaya Research Unit, the Institute of Health Research. And um, I'm after that, I continue my PhD study. Um, in the biomedical science, the multidisciplinary program of the graduate school, Jolanungon University. And my dissertation um, focused on uh, the topic was the um, maybe the diversity, uh, the diversity, genetic diversity and drug resistance of the Prasnaya falciform population in Sayok district. Um, Ganjanaburi province, Thailand is a long time, so I, <laughs> <laughs> I cannot remember the complete topic of my dissertation, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes, it's okay, so we can know that you have a lot of experience on biomolecular. <laughs> right, right. And so. after I graduated from, uh, from the PhD study, I continued to do um, more in the genetic diversity and population genetics of the Parsonian Fossil Column. Yeah. All right. Mm. Um, that's very interesting background. Um, as uh, Dr. Right. Tepana just mentioned, she has long experience working <laughs> on molecular right. um, biology and technology. All right. So as we discussed today, um, we, we have talked last week, right, in, in overview, the general idea of the newly revised program mm -hmm. of our public mm -hmm. health science. And this week, we come to more detail on um, chemical and biomolecular technology. So I'd like to hear more uh, from Dr. Tepanat about this newly revised program. Mm -hmm. um, what about this uh, chemical and biomolecular technology? What is exactly about for this right. program? Okay. Previously, we uh, just only have the biomolecular technology for um, doing the research in this branch, but um, we combined chemical mm -hmm. together with the mole biomolecular technology or molecular technology to um, gain more the development of the, um, maybe you can use the chemical um, technology to develop the drug or mm -hmm. modify the protein or other aspect from the chemical. But um, for the bio biomolecular bi um, technique, we also use 
in many, many uh, fields of the study to develop the, for the treatment um, of the disease and the actosis, uh, we have uh, can apply in many ways of the um, public health science. I see. Yes. So what, what about like, since you combine the chemical, right? Chemical mm -hmm. biomolecular that we, like, I think College of Public Health Science have very long-term experience about this. Right. So what's the um, courses or the subject that uh -huh. the, the, the branch offer to a student here? What kind of class that we can learn here? Okay, and what huh. is the news of the class? Yeah, right. I think uh -huh. since, since it's newly uh -huh. revised, right? So it means that we can have something new in this program as well. Right. Yes. Okay, ha. Huh. So um, I, I would like to start with the core course. Core course that um, all the students in this program have to learn about it. Um, we start with the research fundamental in public health science. This is a core course and biostatistics in public health science and also the laboratory skill in public health science research and seminar, okay? And for our branch, we have the compulsory courses that related to the chemical and biomolecular, such as the chemical science and molecular biology for better health and um, apply chemical and molecular biology techniques in public health science. We can provide um, the advanced technique that uh, in, in the high, um, high technology that related to the um, chemical and bio, uh, bio molecular technology. So I'm very excited to be a guest. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and another, another um, class or another subject that we provide for the student is a special problems in public health science. This um, subject is um, promote or convince the student to develop the, uh, their research topic recently as they at the first semester of the first year of, of their start um, of their study here yeah uh, we can yeah. discuss about the topic yeah because uh, we have a various kind of the uh, research so uh, um, the student can discuss with the their not only their advisor but for other lecturer or instructor as well. Okay, right. and this is yes, Ajahn, this is very interesting that we hear you say this. As a chair of the program, I learned that we are on the research bed best, yes. right? So that means we have a lot of research come to support um, the student. Ajahn Tepanat, we would like to. I have something that about related with health molecules and what mm -hmm. is about the research of me that can do with with this research branch. interest or the, the direction right. of the research. Uh, yes. right. Okay, Any hard. idea for students? Yeah. Um, um in the previous uh for for my student, I don't want to um convince them to do along with my interest only, but I would like to um invite them or uh, let them do on the topic that they're interested in because um, they will have the uh, impression and have the, passion. they want to do, to yeah, do research, passion. to do that topic. Yeah, to do that topic. Because uh, some, the some they students, have passion, right? right? Yeah, because some, so, some students, they, they don't have the idea about the molecular biology and they come to, uh, come to see me and, and say that I have to do this kind of topic um, related with, uh, Ajahn, oh, it's not, it's not, this is not mm, um, yes. necessary, yeah. Right. Because um, the molecular biology, like as a tool, you can apply to not only malaria, um, for other disease or other topic that you're interested in. Mm -hmm. Yes. When, when we heard about like biomolecular is general, but mm -hmm. chemical biomolecular, it seemed like, in oh. depth and <laughs> chemicals would relate with molecular and relate mm -hmm. with public health. Is 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 that thing that I, I talk to you is true, right? Yeah. More in depth in depth for chemicals. Right. Yes. Um previously we do the research on the um like me, uh, I do the research um according to the epidemiology of the disease like a mm -hmm. malaria parasite using the uh, molecular biology as a marker to um, uh, trace or 
extract the um, malaria parasite that resists to the um, drug that we use for treatment. And we would like to know the dynamic of the parasite in, in the field. Yes, mm -hmm. and but uh, for the chemical, because uh, we have the new lecturer, the young staff. Younger. Yeah, the young <laughs> staff, the new generation. Like uh, Ajahn Anushit, he has the- um, Last week. Yeah. Last Maybe week we met you, him. <laughs> I, I invite him to join this episode, but he, he has the other business that he cannot <laughs> join us today because um, for the chemistry, he has the background on, on chemistry and he has the expertise in the uh, protein modification used like a probe or used as the um, biologics for treatment or something like that. Uh, if you would like to know in the detail, maybe um, Dr. Anushit will be the, too. yeah. Mm. Or invite oh. him to be a guest in Maybe the next episode. episode. <laughs> yes. So, so as Ajahn Ketana yeah. mentioned, um, it will be something like chemical in the deeper perspective in the cells, uh, in, in the cellular level. Um, I, I, I think some student, some, some person who, who doesn't really know much, then it confused like chemical, mm -hmm. they have to do like, like general chemistry as they have studied in the college mm -hmm. or not something like that. But uh, in here, it will be more in depth, integrate into like cellular and molecular level, right? Mm -hmm. Some chemicals yes. in our Chem body. Inside our Chain body. Something. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Yes. I, I love the word that uh, Dr. Chepanad mentioned that um, for the branch of the new version of College of Health Science program that we offer the biomolecular and technology branch. So the word that you mentioned that we try to find the new technology and biomolecular for the better health of our life. So mm -hmm. I think it's very, quite good <laughs> for the public health to prevent some adverse health effect in the future by using technology and also biomolecular mm -hmm. together. Yes, it's so interesting. Yeah. Yes. Um, some some students um, think that this um, the technology is far from them, right? But it's a uh, it's uh, around us. Today is around us, right? Uh, like a um maybe the test kit will be the one of the technology ah, that we use. Right. I yeah. think that that this one is very obvious. Uh, yeah. Example, obvious example that people see nowadays regarding mm -hmm. to it. So it means we come that to it, the digital era already. Right. Come to the new already. version. Yes, and wonderful that mention of this Ajahn. A good news for every new student. We are also have scholarship for inventions, invention in the field of public health. Uh -huh. This is our newest scholarship for our new student in program in public health and in public health science for this coming semester, new semester. That, that right. would excite to oh. inform to you. So if the student learn the biochemical um, and biomolecular technology and they want to develop something like Kit. develop test mm -hmm. kit, like, like Dr. Yes. Ketana just mentioned, that will be a good opportunity to also receive this uh, funding mm -hmm. to support for right. this kind of biomolecular right. research as well. And wow, this funding is internal funding. It's been come from our college. That means guarantee that if you need to produce some innovation, mm -hmm. you can get, you may get the this funding for starting on the, your research at the beginnings. I see. Like this a startup? Just, uh, start right. up like the startup. And we have a startup scholarship for excellent students. Mm -hmm. or the like first years and you commit with us, I mean, internal scholarship as well, produce a good publication. And once you come to talk with Ajahn Tepanat and Ajahn, oh, mm -hmm. this is really good. We accept you and continue to get there and produce one for, uh, publication, really excellent publication to get the scholarship at the beginning, same as inventions, uh, innovations, that is give the funding for you at the beginning, mm -hmm. not just only public health side and public health program too in this new coming semester. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. very All interesting. Right. Uh, yes. yes, well, yes yeah. for a lot of information for now, I feel interested. So <laughs> if the audience, yes, feel interested to join our program. So 
um, could you please give the detail that what is the criteria or requirement to the audience? Mm. Okay, ha. the criteria, okay, the student or the applicant will uh, graduate in the science, in science and or health science or the other related field. Ha. And okay, they meet criteria of the English score test with um, the university rules. Yeah, but I, I cannot remember uh, our, at the, <laughs> at the level of the English score okay, that right. uh, can be accepted. Right. Uh, so I think uh, the student can the check student that can the check yeah. on right. the announcement and mm -hmm. also the good news. Yeah. In this period, we allow the student to come and maybe the score of English later yeah, because of the benefit of the COVID situation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is very good. So students can apply chance, first and then they first. can maybe submit the English score later. Later mm -hmm. or study uh, the course that English course in Jolalungkorn and I see. pass the I see. Uh, As I think requirement. Tepana just mentioned about the um, the uh, basic criteria, basic requirement for application. But what about the education? I mean, like the laboratory ex experience mm -hmm. or background because well, as the name chemical, biomolecular <laughs> technology, you definitely have to do lab work, right? So yes, um, how strong I have, I, I should have in the, the laboratory background that I can um, apply. To. Okay, uh, you just only have the experience in the laboratory work, you can just uh, such that you can pipetting accurately or oh, how, and you, pipette, right? <laughs> yeah, how to pipette uh, <laughs> because we use the micro pipette frequently in um, doing the laboratory um, uh, As a experiment, <laughs> yeah, and and then uh, for the molecular biology, you have to have the familiar with the aseptic technique. Uh, yes. Like microbiology, mm -hmm. basic technique, right? As those aseptic techniques, yeah. Yes, because uh, some, some research is uh, related to the cell, cell culture or something like that. And, like uh, in my experience, I do uh, not not me, but um, my colleague do the <clears throat> in vitro cultivation of the plasmodium falciparum in the laboratory. If you don't have the proper or the good uh, aseptic technique, you cannot go the <laughs> the malaria because it's very sensitive for sensitive, um, yeah. everything. Right? Yeah, for the contamination, they don't. Mm, the, the we, we, we I have the training, it. right? I mean, yeah. like, students have the right. background, or even not that strong, but when you come mm -hmm. to here, of course, yeah. our professors and the technician in our lab can teach you, can, we'll can train you more, you. right? Yes. I see. All and right. we have, like, fundamental course for before go to the laboratory. Mm -hmm. Biosafety. Yes. Biosafety. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like because we have another yeah. selective... Um, Subject, Hatan. We have right, another right. Uh, selective for subject like uh, yes, fundamental molecular biology for public health science, uh, cell culture basics for the public health science, something like that, and uh, protein uh, engineering technology in public health science yeah. and other. Yes, right. e even if we cannot provide the um, I I I think that uh, the laboratory may be specified to uh, each. Um, research topic so um, the I student see. can train with uh, their advisor, yeah, advisor in the specific right. technique yes and the good right. news is that we are we are going to have the very good and new laboratory very soon mm -hmm. with the our new buildings yes and this is oh, it means that really if good. the audience so feel interested them, so they, they can join us with our uh, for the without any laboratory strong background but they can learn with us for the laboratory yes. staff from the lecturers. Right. It's like good, interesting. So yes. I would like to ask uh, Dr. Kairut that uh, for now, do we have any audience to type in All the right. questions or do they want Let to join? Check, um, yes. So as usual, we have the live on Facebook, right? So sometimes mm. we will have a question from the audience and maybe some say hi to us as well. Right. Um, <laughs> some of them say that, okay, they are listening. It's sounds relaxed not stressed so it means like the topic is good here uh -huh. and some students say hi to us good evening everyone 
some i think this one probably <laughs> be the um alumni she said miss you ajan tepanat and ajan watasit ah, thank um, you miss, thank miss you we are the singing. same age ajan <laughs> ah. <laughs> all right all right Hello. so um i think we do have some question as well um someone uh, just asked me like deliver to um the, the message to uh, dr tepanat um if they interested like for example like they search on website and they found that wow this this chemical and biomolecular technology is the newly revised course and they're interested in the specific uh topic of some advisor of some professor mm -hmm. can they talk to that advisor directly first like yes. make a connection make a contact first is that yes, possible yes. yes yes it's possible because uh, i have uh, some some um applicant or some uh student contact me before they apply uh, i see apply to 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 our college yes all right so it, it can be like a prior discussion between mm -hmm. the potential like, yeah the let's possibility say prospect, to do prospect yeah. student like the possibility of doing a research mm -hmm. with certain advisor right yes so it's possible right yeah, so it means possible. that if student interested yeah. to join a program you can directly talk to advisor first mm -hmm. before please applying. feel free to contact us because we, we can discuss before you um applying yes all right but there's the another question actually. the information of the email of the lecturer and also the mm -hmm. from the website, and from, the website. Our yeah. from our website and can send the email and please feel free to do a consultation and uh, talk with the lecturer that you would like to do the research yes. with I see. Yes, um, I, I would like um, pardon. Uh, yeah, sure, sure. sorry. Just yeah. Go ahead. Uh huh. Yeah. Because I I just only the uh one of the instructor in this branch. Um, okay, we have the uh, Ajahn Anushit or uh, uh, Doctor Anushit and Doctor Ansley that have the okay. She has the experience in the uh biological property of the chemical compound from plant that use the mm -hmm. um, cell culture as the model. And we have the newcomer instructor, Dr. Nalimun. She has the experience on cancer, cancer. study, yes. Yeah. So if you are interested in this kind of topic, you can uh, contact with this, these instructors. I see. That that's why we say combinations. Right? Yeah, we, this is we, combinations. Yes, mm -hmm. the combination of, of the um, lecturer or instructor from from each uh, different branch. We help each other to complete the um, the research of the student. I see. So not as uh, Dr. Tepanan just mentioned, not only her who doing this yeah. uh, laboratory um, biomolecular but work. Us. But, yeah. <laughs> but we also have um, Dr. Anushit, Dr. Anshali, Dr. Narumon, who also teaching and working in this branch as well. And of course, student, if you're interested, maybe combination of two Ajans, uh, two professors <laughs> work together, that's also possible as well. But you yes. can discuss first, all right? Um, there's another question. Um, from the live chat here, they said, what is the trending of innovation about biomolecular technology? Like mm. any, any trend during these days? Uh, what kind of research related to biomolecular work? Oh, oh COVID man. maybe, I think. Is oh, that but COVID, yes. COVID. I think about kids. It's if wireless. Think about Right. So the okay. facility, um, the facility of our college is not um proper for the virus, um, COVID nineteen because it's a uh, yeah, um, we just in in my um experience we just only do for the Malaya parasite because um, uh, for Malaya is the one mission of the Institute of uh Health Research and we continue doing that um research because of the at that time it is the uh, important problem for our country, but mm -hmm. nowadays, uh, mm -hmm. even even the um cases, Malaya cases in Thailand is declining rapidly. But for other um mm -hmm. country, country, still neighboring yeah, countries still have yeah, it, right? I yes, see. they will have it. Right. And um, in the past, because um, you you can see that uh, the combination between uh chemical chemical technology and uh, biomolecular technology, we can mm -hmm. um, provide the advanced 
advanced technology right. uh, like uh, if you would like to um, find the drug or you would like to do the uh, the derivative of the drug you can use the uh, chem chemical to uh, adjust or construct a new um, structural chemical uh, mm -hmm. chemical structure of the drug yes and test for mm -hmm. for um, the it um, properties of the drug that can use for mm -hmm. the um, resistant or not yeah this is and just the, only the example huh. and and the other trend that I, I found mm -hmm. some kids some test kids in like in in my fields if I want like to know what is the pesticide that contaminated in mm -hmm. our blood and mm -hmm. I talk to Dr. Anushi. Dr. Anushi can produce something that reactions are inside reaction yeah. has to develop some kit that mm -hmm. really quick and yes. get the result at the few yeah. for the few mm -hmm. something like this. I think this can is develop the chemical flow. Right? right, right. That may relate to check to our body something change. Yes, like this very fancy things. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Combination. <laughs> because from from the fundamental molecular biology it can be yeah. in the advanced technology with um, mm. the new generation of the instructor instructor right. yeah from yes. the root of size to mm. advanced yes yeah. but we we still do the uh, fundamental or basic molecular right. biology as well because um mm. currently we have the student who because I, I would like to emphasize that and not only um, si the science or technology can be uh, adapt, adapt to the public health, health. it's true. Because uh, in um, clearly the one of the student under the um, supervision from Ajahn, um, Dr. Nawarat Ganjana Khan, um, he is the, he is from Pakistan. He um, applied the one health approach, ah, yeah, right. it's not uh, it is only human, yeah, not only human health, but for animal health and the environmental health. They mm -hmm. he will use this approach to uh, study about the antimicrobial resistance mm -hmm. for of the Campylobacter in livestock in Pakistan, and, and um, mm -hmm. would like to find what is a factor or what is a network or uh, the relationship mm -hmm. between the human and animal with uh, as a source of the um, microbial resistant microbe. Oh, all and right. This is made me think is... about collaboration that we have with the National Academy of Science of the US mm -hmm. that we have collaboration and got the student to join with us for the PhD program, right? This is very good yes. thing that have a good com uh, collaboration to show everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. For today, we receive a lot of information and very interesting research idea from Dr. Tepanat. So before mm -hmm. we leave today, I would like to invite Dr. Tepanat to give the recommendation or say something to the audience that after they listen to our TPS talk and they feel interested to join mm -hmm. to the chemical and biomolecular technology branch with College of Public Health Science, Jurong Quantity. So please say something to them or give any recommendation. Please. Encourage them. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Don't hesitate if you would like, to, uh, would like to know more information and please feel free to contact us um, you can see the uh, address on our website. Huh, don't hesitate to contact us. Enjoy Even us. you have the yeah. <laughs> if you have a okay, you think that okay, you have a little uh, experience in the laboratory laboratory work. Okay, don't worry about that because you you are a student. We are. We will encourage and you can gain the knowledge or more experience in the laboratory work when you're starting with us. Mm -hmm. yeah, thank you very much. So before we leave, again, I would like uh, to invite Dr. Watasit to give the information about the scholarship and funding because I think huh. many students that would like to apply <laughs> to study with us, this is the 
uh, important points that they need to know that what is the scholarship or any research funding that they can receive from our college? I feel very relaxed with these questions, <laughs> <laughs> right? Because last last episode, I then okay, it also asked me about that. But this week, very good news. We have many of scholarship, internal scholarship from our college. Yeah. The first one we have two plus one, I mean, for two master's degree student, this is, and one PhD student for is branch of us. us. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. free for tuition freeze and for for educational free yeah, in, in internal one. This is good for excellent students to join us for, from each branch. The other one is the uh, scholarship for innovations in public health. This is if you have a good ideas on uh, innovations for in this plan, uh, for example, you have new cheap, new proof, new ideas, and you may ask for the startup funds at the beginnings and consult with our professor and go to do develop innovations. Uh, and also we have excellent funds for good publications, mm -hmm. good high length of publication you receive and you have free, uh, like tuition free for your education. We have, this is internal, this is just internal and other funds, we have got really high support from the universities. We pay half, we got the school pay half, something like this. We have combinations and most of the students of us in the previous batch got the scholarship almost. If not have, we have the scholarship for TA, internal TA and combinations support from the graduate school. This is we have yeah. and also had many, many of the scholarship now we have a lot grant nah, for students to learn. Nah, this is opportunity to learn. Um, and another thing that I, I would say, because some students may wonder about uh, in public health side, just only the background of science or background of microbiology, I can say no, we still have another mm -hmm. branch in, in this field of public health science. For example, like cannabis science, herbal science, or exactly, I look at the uh, branch of wellness together with the bucket. Wellness, no need background, more size, but still size. Mm -hmm. but no need to, to do touch the work. <laughs> biped, something like this. Like occupational workplace and safety mm -hmm. that they would ask Janata. So this is maybe like more socials together with size something like this, that thing of this, we continue for next episode that you can see yeah, us. So you come back that for more detail field. in the come next back. episode, well, yeah. Right. And I would say something for the program, this program, I mean, for branch, right? Like I can take mentions, this is combinations. I will mm -hmm. say that combination chemicals and biological, C plus B, what is the list out? I can forget, you know, C plus B is, E for myself is excellent. <laughs> Combination of C part B is excellent for this branch. Chemical, biologicals, and we would have a good, excellent for public health. This is thing that challenge everyone to join us. I turn my microphone back to Ajahn Pocket. Dr. Thank Pocket. You, I, I think uh, the audience will be interested for the funding and scholarship that our college provides many types of uh, scholarship that they can apply. Yes. Mm -hmm. And today I would like to invite all the audience, please like and share this clip. And if you are interested, please join our program. We open for apply now until the end of this month, 31st March. And we have the second round that you can apply for our program. For the second round during both April until the end of the April. So please feel free to join our new version of Public Health Science program by College of Public Health Science, July 1 to And today, 
TPHS Talk Episode 6 with Dr. Tepana and Dr. Watersid and also Dr. Kaywood and me, Professor Kaslak, have to say goodbye for today. Please come back to see you again for the next episode. Uh, thank you of all for today and Swadika. CPHS Talk, brought to you by College of Public Health Science Chu Lar Long Corn University. Good health is the best wealth. We need health sciences for good health and well-being.